Listen, y'all. <clears throat> I would say what's the vibe, but I'm about to tell y'all the vibe, okay? I'm about to bring y'all to my vibe right quick, okay? This is my spaceship over here, and I control the temperature. So listen here. It's a black, blackout message because this is how important it is to me, how I feel. As a parent and as a melanated parent, we don't talk about sibling rivalry and jealousy enough. And what I want to say about this is, Ever since the beginning of time, and I'm sure before Cain and Abel, because that's not the oldest story, there's been a rivalry amongst siblings. And sometimes it's really under, uh, like it's under an uh, underlining rivalry. Not really one that you can see just looking on the surface. You understand that? That type of rivalry, it develops as those kids get older. So this is what I want to say, guys. As a parent, it is very important to you to make sure that your kids know they roll in the family, but also know their individuality and to be praised and honored and appreciated and noticed and recognized for what it is that they do that's special. And you are the person who control that when they little. You can see when kids have animosity amongst each other. You can see when one child feel like another child being favored. They'll say it. They'll say it. Oh, well, that's their favorite child right there. Those things like that is people so crying out for you to pay attention. And we miss the mark so much. Even when the kids have age differences, it's still important for them to acknowledge one another and talk to your kids and letting your kids know. So I'm going I'm to just say this for an example. Suppose you have a kid that's a lawyer, right? And you have another child that works for UPS, right? They ain't go to college. Now, college may have been, school may have been destined for the one that's a lawyer. That was his path okay but it doesn't mean that he's any better than the child that worked for ups or that he made more money or their level of intelligence see everybody got their own path that might not be his path and then later on in life the reason he wasn't a lawyer unfolds you know you understand what i'm saying he may have met somebody at that law office that turned him to the crooked side, and then he ends up in the, in the pen. We don't know that. So to make a difference between your kids based on things like that creates sometimes problems that can't be fixed. Do y'all understand where I'm going with this? If you have a child that's fine, a daughter, and another child that's not so fine, okay? That could become a problem if the men always saying this one pretty and they not saying that about the other one. So as a parent, it's your responsibility to balance that scale and really pump into the other child that people on the outside may not, you know, see as what's the textbook attractiveness. You have to really pump into that kid a healthy self-esteem, a really high one, really high. Trust me, because people are going to try to knock it down regardless because they'll feel some type of way about how you feel about yourself. Believe you me, people will be offended that you love you. Like, that's weird. If you can't love you, then who else going to love you? If you don't like to be around you, then who you think else going to be around? Y'all want to project onto people. That's what it is. Y'all want to bleed on people who ain't hurt y'all. That don't make no sense. So that child that love they self and you teaching them to love you, you kind of got to overdo it. Because the people going to chip at them, honey. The people going to chip at them. But also, that child remains humble. You understand, as a parent, that's your responsibility to monitor and pay attention to what's going on around you in your household. Not who had the best grades or if you got one child. And I'm saying this, y'all, because I experienced it and, I, you know, I know of it for real. And then 
I've seen and been friends with people who I've seen do shit like that with their kids and say crazy out the wild stuff. I'll be like, why you say that to See, that's why people got a problem with me, because I say it. You know what I'm saying? I say it. And anybody who's been friends with me could tell you that. Like, I told one woman I heard her call her daughter some beef. And I lit her up. Don't ever do that. My mama did that one time. My, my daddy went off and died. She never did that before. Now, she found other ways to inflict some pain. But it wasn't she ain't called me that. My daddy wasn't going for that. Okay? So why would you say that? Then I, I stopped going to a girl who do hair. And she was the bomb stylist. Because I was in there. And the way she talked to her daughter, like, y'all, if I could have got her right then and just left, I could not take it. I was cringing my seat. I was holding the thing. And after that, I ain't go back to her no more. She was a bomb stylist, but I just could not. And the little girl, the girl was like in middle school. I was like, don't nobody want no dumb 8304. I was like, oh. Like, y'all, I just cannot, okay? I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. So, I done seen people do kids dirty and talk to them dirty and favor another child over another child. And this is my smart one here. This is my pretty girl here and all that old dumb stuff. And then you got another child just sitting there looking. You know what I'm saying? You got to let that child know what's good about them and let the other child know what's good about them and encourage them kids to support one another and take up for another, the other one. If somebody calling one of the sisters ugly, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't say that. You know what I'm saying? I was in that position one time before with my little sister, and I probably could have handled it a little bit better. But at the time, I was young, and I wasn't in my awareness. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think I may have, but I might have been a little laughing, too. You know what I'm saying? Because she was young. So it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't think it was anything serious or, like, she would feel a ways. Because I loved my little sister. You know what I'm saying? But thinking back on it, or if I would have put myself in that position, then I probably would have felt like that way, too. Like, why didn't you defend me? You my older sister. Why didn't you go off on him about saying that about me? You know, whatever. But she had no business around me either. You know what I'm saying? That was my friends. Our age difference was way too much. And I probably was telling her to go ahead. And that's why I was laughing at her. Because I think that's what happened. Because I always had to tell them to go ahead. Shit. <laughs> go ahead. Y'all want to... They, then they got grown and wanted to date the me in my age. Like, 15 years young. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Like, competing. I'm grown. Go ahead. That's how I would be feeling. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't mean that I didn't love them. So what I'm saying to you is, when you are the parent and you see this going on in your household, pay more attention to it. Like, you need to be aware. If you got sons and you got one that's always getting the girls and one that can't get a girl, if you sit on his lap, you got to fill in the gaps with the emotional, um, you know, their emotions and coping mechanisms and, and teaching and, and encouraging. And that you that's what parents do, y'all. Nobody give you no guideline for it, no blueprint. You just got to live through some things and then look back on it and think of ways that you could have did it better and then share that with people. Not saying you sharing, like, oh, you perfect, you ain't do nothing wrong. No, that mean I did a whole bunch of stuff wrong and I'm sharing with you not to do so you won't have to go through it. That's what people be telling y'all. And that's what I'm telling y'all. Understand that? Not that everybody perfect or... I'm perfect. You know what I'm saying? No, but I did a lot of dumb stuff. That's why I can tell y'all a lot of good stuff because I did a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord, have mercy. It's funny not, but some of that stuff wasn't too funny. You know what I'm saying? Like going through it. So when I'm trying to share with y'all, I'm trying to tell you what I know because I did it. Not because I want to just know anything, but you know what? I'm going to start keeping my stuff to myself because y'all are doing great. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get offended. It just feel like somebody saying y'all dumb or y'all can't think or something like that because somebody knows something you don't know. But you don't know the person is 100 plus years ago. If somebody 100 years older than you and they don't know nothing, you need to get the hell away from them because that means they missed a whole bunch of stuff from 1 to 99. <laughs> well, I'm going I'm to let y'all go. I just wanted to share this with y'all for the end to the sibling rivalry. Encourage kids. I love y'all for real. Peace.